Veterans didn't know how to play, and they're obviously led by Ben. Underway. Getting right to it. Ben gets the first side out. I mean, look, look for Ben to take a lot of court here, as he usually does. Um, probably even more so here with Etta than, than AL. Uh, but also look for Etta's mobility. She can earn it from both sides, and they'll certainly be setting that up. Right down the middle from Ben Johns. Also have to mention, speaking MLP, Etta Wright, a new member of the Texas Ranchers, drafted last week i know you're excited about having her in the stable couldn't be more excited i think it's a it's an amazing get and ed has produced so well i think she's going to be a great teammate she's kind of a consummate professional and uh hopefully everyone can take in her talents here on championship court so edit to serve here and a two nothing lead for wright and johns I expect a lot of that from Ben here in the next 30 minutes or so. Yeah, Ed and Ben may be the coolest and most confident cucumbers you'll find on the court. Got all the shots. Another poach pays off for the GOAT. with a answer second serve coming up I mean Ben and Etta really represent what has been the meta of pickleball which is be calm confident consistent getting up to the kitchen it could take you three four or five shots but you're going to win it in and around the kitchen obviously that's changed a little bit with the paddles the athleticism crash and dash but ultimately that's been tried and true for the highest performing players on tour drive for Colin Skips over the tape. And Colin able to get one in on Etta there, sneaking one in, and it's the first point for Goldberg and Johns. Oh, the classic Ben. Ben Roll really likes to use that in mix to get a, a ball back that he can hit down on again. Ben Johns looks so relaxed when he is at the kitchen. I mean, he may as well be sipping a cup of tea at the same time. <laughs> it's too chill. I think he's thinking like three shots ahead for almost any given rally. down the line. Colin probably thinking I was on it. Knows Ben's patterns. defense oh good Ernie from Meta but defended well by Colin 
take another look at that. Fun ability to reset a ball. Not the best overhead from Ben there, but they, they get the point. Oh, what a shot. Oh. He's busting the two-handed roll out early. It's not a good time for any opponent across the net when Ben's playing with that. He's, it's a work in progress for him, but certainly can be lethal at the right time. 6-1 lead now. And now make it 7-1. Also helps if you're Ben Johns or your partner, Ed, is sporting the exact same paddle as you. For sure that she's been a kind of an OG Yolo paddle signing. No-brainer from day one. They've got a smile there from Ben on the complete forehand whip. Don't often see that. 7-1-2. And there's Colin Johns, outstanding shot cross court to get the side out. And now a 7 1 hole to try and dig out of here for Colin and Regina. Second serve. Fun note through the, a team that raced our presence on championship court, Tyler Loon in Lina. Uh, they are taking on the number four seed now. In the round of 16, they took the first game 11-5 against Jesse Irvin and Pablo Tejas. Right wow. They are firing on all cylinders. Well, they definitely are. Yeah. 7-1-1. Point. Tough for Regina to catch up to that. Adds another now. It's a first game runaway here. 8-1-1. Eight, eight, one. Oh, ATP for Ben point, Johns. Point. Did it two-handed backhand style that time. Come out receiving team nine. Timeout taken by Colin and Regina, but another look here. It's been so good at being stable. From the world's most iconic tennis arenas to the glint of an Olympic gold medal, a new court beckons, a new challenge arises. Jack Sock has conquered tennis. Now, pickleball's next. Mastery, precision, passion, that's what champions are made of. And when it comes to pickleball, there's only one company they turn to. Jack Sock's legacy continues with the number one brand in pickleball. Selkirk Sport. We are pickleball. Yeah, and it was a little bit under the weather, I believe, at the last tournament in North Carolina. So this is definitely a good way to get back to 100% with Ben Johns by your side here. 10-1 in game one. Yeah, games that take about 12 minutes are, are easy on the body, easy on the mind. Certainly we'll get to a game two here, though. Officials less self, Diane Anderson and Howard Hepworth taking care of this one here on Humana Championship Court. So this for the game. Catches Regina by surprise, not knowing where that the official ball of the PPA tour. Game two. So you got to figure Ben Johns, net or right, probably the favorites now the rest <laughs> of the way. Remember, if you're just joining us, Anna Bright, James Ignatowicz had to withdraw 
earlier today, an injury to Ignatowicz, just not quite ready to get out there and fire away for three games. For sure. I think we're going to have Ben and Etta on a crash course with Vivian and Thomas. Look at this defense by Ben. Oh. Wow. They're taking it. They, they look chill, but he is. He is. <laughs> he's laughing. <laughs> he's going turbo mode right now. And now it's a three nothing game. You know, it's got to be tough on Ignatowicz how badly he wants to get back playing with his normal mixed doubles partner and Anna Bright. For sure. She's two or three on the women's list now and they've had a lot of success together. I think there's a lot of FOMO. Ben's just doing some well. wreck like things right now. Regina and Colin, it's they're a bit of a daze right now. But I thought that was going to be an ATP. It turned out to just be a, sort of a half volley cut. Two brothers going at it. How about this? Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> amazing hands battle between Ben and Colin. That was amazing. Let's take a look. Look at how compact and powerful they are. We did a mini round two. Like only brothers can. So entertaining. Oh, how about Edda Wright? Finding a way to defend two ATPs. Oh, Colin wants to call his brother on a kitchen violation. Edda playing great defense with the ATP and on the Ernie. Yep. How about a little lob action? <laughs> Not much Colin could do with that one. It's another point. And right now, Colin and Regina in danger of getting pickled. I mean, later, J Dub. I mean, ben, ben, ben trying to take the title of best hands here, just working everything. Eight nothing. This has been entertaining. Another one skips the tape and drops in. Entertaining, but not fun, obviously, if you're Colin or Regina here. Nine zero two. Finally. Nice overhead from Colin. I'd be a little. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. I mean, Ben going for a third shot lob at 9-0 is, is a little tough. Uh, so, such great love for his brother, though. Such great respect. That is why those two are the best men's doubles team in the world. There we go. Little offense now, the crowd getting behind him. So that pickle goes out the window. Let's see if Regina can continue this momentum. Edda so solid on the defense. Look at that guy. Oh, sails out, but two points in a row. For Colin and Regina, let's go. I think the crowd a little bit behind here, Colin and Regina. But the calls are also dropping. Ben has pulled off just some incredible shots here in this match. Colin now, second serve trailing 2 9. Too much mustard on that one. 
Your mustard guy, Drew. Big time. I love it. How about a little relish, too? Nine, two, and of one. course, catch up. Oh, yeah. Colin fist pumping. Get in that hands battle. Holding that 2 9. When the world sleeps, greatness rises. Training rigorously and pushing boundaries. Ah! The next level isn't just hand, it's earned. Go next level with 6 0 pickleball. Okay, we've got our first match point here. Ben and Etta. So Etta right. Trying to put the finishing touches on this one. And Collins swinging away at the kitchen. Next point will have to wait. Two, two, one. one. Point coming up here for Etta Wright and Ben Johns. It's the round of 16. Wright and Johns, the two seed. Wow, well, and can't get to it, and that's going to do it. So 11 1, 11 2. Get away. Well, guys, I had my loyalties totally split watching this match, but you guys come away on top. I want to talk about how this partnership happened. This is not something we see every weekend. How did you team up with Etta? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm definitely very excited for it. It's been about a year since we played for uh, together uh, on the Seattle Pioneers. So uh, I don't think that we played an actual tournament together, but uh, MLP, we had a lot of success and it was really fun. So um, uh, I had an opening with this one and a couple others and uh, Etta was my, my first call. Well, Etta, doing some damage on your half of the court. How are you feeling about your game moving forward in this tournament? Um, good. I mean, I'm playing the right side, which is not my typical side, but <laughs> it is growing. It is uh, decent, I think, and so it's, it's been fun playing with them. Well, you got to love the hands battles that you and Colin had. I know that's nothing new. That's every at-home drill session. What were you thinking out there? Uh, it felt like a normal practice session, <laughs> except the ball was a little hotter and a little slower uh, through the air, that is. So, um, yeah, we were just taking full swings, and the ball just kept coming back. So that's uh, one of the most enjoyable things about pickleball, and uh, he's the easiest person to do that with because we've done it so much. So it was pretty fun. You never get to face off against Colin. He's always on your side of the court. <laughs> what did that feel like? Uh, it's funny. Uh, you know, always squared off in, in various sports, but he's quite a bit older, so I usually did a fair amount of losing. Um, so I'm happy to have found the one sport that I can win at. <laughs> All right, congratulations, guys. You're moving on. True. Oh, good stuff from the best in the game, Ben Johns and Etta Wright. That pairing is going to be tough to deal with.